Hey you guys, I just wanted to come on and pop quickly before the video and wish you guys a great holiday week. I hope you had a really good Easter and everything turned out nice and quiet. Um, I just decided today when I woke up that I wanted to connect with my mother and father and I did some candle gazing and some amazing things happened. It's the imagery I saw, I saw like the, the flame separates and goes bright blue and then inside the bright blue was like little red hearts that looked like they were floating away and I started to cry and I did this, this ritual in my daughter's room because she's very closely connected to my mother and her spirit as well. And um, right after that, I was compelled. It's Easter Sunday right now, and this is going to be for tomorrow's video. I just want to come on and thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are amazing. I read all your comments. I want you to know that it just takes me a while because I want to respond. A lot of you do have questions and other inquiries, so I want to make sure that I have time to respond. And I'm never doing things in a rush because I like to do things with calm, follow through, and focus. And, you know, I just wanted to come on camera and say to you guys, Really, anytime you want to reach out and DM me over on Instagram, if you're feeling insecure, you're just having moments of mass boredom because a lot of people have a lot of extra time on their hands. And if you're someone creative like me or everybody in my family, we have so many art supplies. If we were quarantined for 100 years, we'd never be bored. But I know some people that haven't figured out their gifts yet don't like to have too much time on their hands and not feel productive or industrious. And there's lots of ways to do that. And I think I'm going to give just fun little tips every day of what I do to stay up, stay bolstered, stay healthy, happy, vibrant, looking forward to things, enthusiastic, right? We have to have passion for our lives and our families and our endeavors and gardening and and just everything and so I'll be doing little tips each day that I do because I really really do need to do a lot of positive self-talk as well I wake up some days I feel fluey or sluggish or oh my god my 8,000 animals need food and water and and you know my two teenagers or whatever else is going on and there's construction in my yard but it's like what can't I do during the day is what I say to myself and then I get up and I'm totally stoked I, stoked. I have the best coffee I relax and then I ease into the day and then I get to do readings which is my favorite so I just wanted to come on and say thank you guys for all your support and love that I utterly adore you and you're amazing and you guys are making strides and progress and your dreams are going to come true just remember we don't go from novice to expert right away in anything we're trying nor do we go from you know a little down in the dumpster to the happy hamster on the wheel we have to take gradual steps and that's what we need to do each day right um, improve our diets a little bit exercise a little bit more read things really fuel your brain and heart with things that get you excited about life and make you feel good that's most important I always put on my favorite readers in the morning I listen to Marissa Pierce I listen to Dr. Joe Dispenza sometimes I watch funny cartoons that make me laugh my head off um i love adventure time it's so crazy i love that little pig is she a pig yeah she bakes apple pies i love her i love everything about that watch things that lift and show you love and light so you feel good about who you are and where you're going so again you guys thank you so much for your support enjoy the video hello everybody welcome to Nigo Terra odyssey today's reading is going to be about special messages from your forever partner, from your soulmate, but also from your highest self. Messages that it's really important for you to hear to move forward in your journey with calmness, with security, with what helps you most to activate passion for your life, to have focus, to slow down. I'll give you a little example of what I did today. When I first woke up, I was like achy and I felt a little fluey and tired. And I was like, oh no, it's Easter because I'm taping this on Easter and the boys are out doing yard work and, and making the yard all nice and keeping busy and feeling good. So I thought I'd tape today's video. And what I decided to do was really do some beautiful self-care rituals. I had a nice shower and I washed my hair. I put on some makeup. I don't wear makeup every day, you know, and I put on my, one of my favorite robes. I put on my favorite jewelry, my garnets that I just made. Garnets always give me a lot of strength and power. They're similar to rubies in that they're like an activator of inner power and they just got me going. So what I'm going to do too, I love these so much. I'm going to order some more strands of these because they're super high quality and I'll put some bracelets and different things in the store for you guys. I always was attracted to garnets ever since I first held one. They really have, they are and are, are emitting this vitality and zhuzh. They just like get me up and they get me powerful. It almost feels like a combination too of lapis lazuli where you can really reach and dig deep and say and feel extraordinary things and also 
they help guide you to what is helping and healing for you too because I knew I need to slow my brain down and get in a calm meditative state on Easter and I heard just go in the, a dark room light a white candle sit and talk and I actually was connecting with my mother and father and I, I could I was doing candle gazing and I saw images and it was amazing and I feel like there are things out there that we can all connect to that help us. So try to connect with your soulmate and your highest self as well. And you'll start to hear things. I always find just looking at a candle is really helpful because it slows everything down. It slows your pace down, your breathing down. You'll find yourself taking deep, beautiful, healing breaths. Um, being out in fresh wind blows away all those cobwebs and you feel clear headed and nice. Even just stepping out your door for a moment breathe in the smell of the trees that scent it just is like a saging it just cleanses immediately so all of these things that are helpful so we're going to see sort of what you might need to focus on what's going to come into play so we have three choices we have number one is wisdom number two is lessons and blessings and number three is health and they'll also have messages pertaining to each of those that um, you chose as well so we are going to start with number one wisdom and we're going to see what house they think you need to concentrate on a little bit right now your house meaning of course that sector that we come in contact with and handles certain area of our life right the tenth house right now is our reputation our careers our responsibilities achievement um, competence fame notoriety standing authority all of that type of thing they want you to know that you're going to be pushing forward beautifully in your 10th house you're going to have a commanding presence you're going to have a strong sense of self confidence in what you're doing they want you to know they're so proud of you they know none of us wake up every single day and are like ta-da we've got this and we jump in that chariot and we're the gladiator of the world no it really takes a really good inner um, dialogue getting ourselves woken up it takes gratitude we need to be centered and grounded right I need to take anything out of my mind except for gratitude when I first wake up right because if I start to compile um, things that I need to do on a to-do list I get overwhelmed and then I'll procrastinate and I'm like oh no I should I should watch stand-up comedy I should do no work ever you know what I mean we can't do that to ourselves so we start with gratitude while wow, I'm breathing I feel healthy it's sunny outside all these things so when you start with this, all of this is going to come in. They want you to know, too, for quite a few of you guys, you are going to have this kind of neat brush with fame. Some of you a little more than others, but some of you are going to have great notoriety for your work. You creatives, I feel like a lot of you guys, some of your stuff is going to go viral and really be pushed out there and be amazed, you know, amazing. And your soulmate wants you to know what you produce is excellent. Never, ever second guess yourself or doubt yourself. What you have to offer is tremendous. Absolutely, whatever we um co-create with spirit of course it's beautiful you ever just pick up a paintbrush pen whatever you write something paint something say something you know like that's extraordinary like this didn't exist in the world five minutes ago and now it does and where does that come from it comes from our spirit our co-creation with spirit and we produce beautiful things and they want you to know keep going keep hammering away because you're, you're going to be doing amazing things oh yeah look at this you have the arch you're going to be flourishing and whatever you pick up some natural gifts are going to come to the fore that you may not have attempted or known that you possessed but now you're going to be like wow all of a sudden you want to pick up a guitar you want to play the piano you want to pick up a paintbrush you want to start writing and you're like wow I, we all mature at different rates like i never had the patience when i was younger to really sit down and do certain things that I love doing now. I love tiny minutia things when it comes to beading and when it comes to painting and things like that, which I just didn't have before. And they want you to know too, you're going to be doing some traveling when everything slows down. You are going to be taking an extraordinary trip, almost like on a Mecca scale where it's like, it's your bucket list. You've been wanting to do this. They're saying, do not hesitate there. They might even meet you there. It might be your plan, your plan destination cosmically. They want you to know they know you have this dream that you really want to see the Greek islands, that you really want to go to Egypt, that you really want to go to Ireland, that you really want to um, go see the pyramids, all of these things. A lot of you guys, it's Nova Scotia, it's Canada, it's all these places, the Hawaiian islands. They're saying go. Don't doubt it. And and in fact, I'm always pushing this when Ian was like, oh, should we go to England? The first thing that came in my, my mind was Stonehenge. And I was like, yes, let's do this right away. Don't let time elapse where you forget and you let it disappear because some amazing things are going to happen. They also just want you to know 
getting back to wisdom that you're going to be able to garner really innate natural intuitive wisdom things that are going to guide you and help you they're going to keep you calm they're going to keep you grounded and sane and they're also going to help you financially because you're going to realize where you can accrue wealth and you're just going to go about it in a really dynamic natural way it just comes to you that's sort of like how i got into my different businesses too they were they were smaller and i was always working like a full-time job elsewhere so it was like i was never giving it complete focus but you're going to kind of turn on that dime where it's like this needs my focus because i have something here this is something that i could really turn into something whether it's my own channel whether it's something i want to write a book some kind of process is taking place for you and your higher self as well as your soulmate wants you to know go for it you're going to succeed you are going to build an empire basically you're 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 going to work through this wonderful odyssey that creates a legacy for your family honest to goodness don't give up keep pushing forward you're going to see results wow that's really that's a remarkable group one i love that for you if you're new to my channel welcome don't forget to press like and subscribe and all my links are down below if you want to go to my etsy store and see all my goodies thank you guys for um you know purchasing all my handmade items and sending me pictures of you in and all the great feedback i really really um, appreciate it if you guys need private reads thank you guys too for um for popping over and getting your reads and all your great feedback it, it, it really means the world to me now we're going to go on to number two lessons and blessings before i even begin i'm already hearing something you do have a big blessing that's about to land in your lap that's going to teach you a really wonderful it's almost like that kind of karmic lesson where you have been good to others and giving and kind and calm so you have a big blessing that's unexpected coming your way that is just out of the blue and you're deserving of it the thing is we sometimes we forget that we have planted the seeds of something and then we just allowed for the universe to do something now the universe is doing something for you and they're going to provide you with something that's necessary for you to take your next kind of leap of faith and produce something miraculous now your soulmate and your higher self want you to know you you're going to have a lot of a lot of unique things happening in your 11th and the 11th house that's kind of the edge you know friendship group creativity community humanity hope tribe festivals discoveries all of this what's happening in the world right now as we're healing and everything's turning and people go back out you are going to be one of these people that um, are making great discoveries like wow i can't believe i looked at that in such an insular small way before and now everything's so much more expansive you're going to form new friendships and be able to pick out your soul sisters and soul brothers and tribes people immediately you're going to have a whole span of new friends that are creative industrious community minded really you know hope and humanity is on their agenda as well as it is yours you know i always feel like you know you're not someone with this rebellion in there too you're not someone who goes for the status quo you don't go along to get along you know where change needs to be made and you're willing to step up and help and and help this healing process you know experimentation you're going to be really expansive and they want you to know they're proud of you because it's so easy to just be a you know be someone who's in their comfort zone and never expand you play it safe but you never grow you never learn you never get those wow kapow moments because you're not taking any risk and the fact that you're going out and doing this is amazing to them so they also want you to know in terms of finances you have abundance coming you have some amazing things this is big i want to go on this first because some of them have this funny message about are you really hungry when you're eating i know that sounds crazy but it's like are are you nervous eating are you boredom eating are you eating things that you shouldn't please identify when you're truly hungry because when we inundate our body with too much sugar too much whatever and i'm one to talk i mean i legit eat i power shovel gummy bears and i eat my body weight and then all of a sudden i'm like oh i feel a little sick and dizzy i wonder why that happened you know what i mean and then i go on this okay i'm only having all this healthy stuff for a while. but it it's human nature that if we like something to overindulge and they really want you to ask yourself what will i feel like 10 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes after i eat this will i feel heavy will i feel unwell if so it's not a wise choice just really be discerning in what you're eating because i feel like you're shedding old behaviors and they're trying to help you shed old behaviors your highest self as well um of um overindulging in anything being over reactionary being judgment critical whatever it is and you're moving into this pure higher vibration so you're letting all that behind and right now they do they want you to know that something really awesome in your business acumen is going to take over in this 11th house energy within this community and you're going to be able to accrue some wealth during this time it's something where it's like you do a little bit of fact finding you know where there's a niche in the market and you go for it and you do something amazing and be really proud of yourself and don't doubt yourself you're 
it's it's your time oh i love this yeah you see you have huge air element working for you these higher thoughts these higher learnings and you're educating yourself in little in little areas we if you realize that each day if we learn one or two new things at the end of the week we know 15 20 new things whether it's something about um a little african you know a little african country that we didn't know how the government worked like i'm always curious about that but every once in a while you know start talking about dictators i'm like there's a dictator there and then you know want to learn about that all of that history we just watch this great thing about you know the russian revolution and it was like wow the, you know just the some of the uproarious things that happens in places so you're going to be educating yourself and be curious in these things watching nature channels doing all kinds of stuff it's going to be great for you it is fuel for your brain it is good healthy fuel for you you're not watching over dramatic garbage because our brains really want good information and they want things that make us laugh and feel light and all of that and they want you to know they see you and they're proud of you and they are working their way toward you that you're you're going to actually be experiencing this kind of medicine man or woman type of healing and feeling around you your vibration is going to be such that you're very healing and wonderful you're going to find animals that really want to come and sit and be near you on your lap by you um birds every everything honestly bees are going to be buzzing all around you because you have this healing element about you right now it's like you're becoming purified and you know enjoy that journey all kinds of um quirks happens when we elevate spiritually i mean we feel we we sometimes get ascension headaches we can get dizzy all kinds of crazy things happen but we need to breathe and hydrate and just remember it's part of this beautiful process where we're more awake than ever we're more tuned in than ever so all these little magical occurrences gonna come you know embrace them because you deserve them oh i love that that's really beautiful and they're saying they're constantly with you they feel you they are um you know they are making their way towards you and you know they're utterly proud of you know we don't have to nobody is perfect nobody is sailing along nobody is mother Teresa. nobody is anything right we're just being and we're slowing down and we're recognizing what we want what we want to um you know let go of all of these things and we need to give ourselves a chance to grow and expand without any kind of criticism or judgment from others or ourselves just let it be right we're gonna have some days we don't want to get out of bed we don't have to guess what we're not gonna do we have other days we want to plant a garden and we want to do a million things we'll do that one day we might want to paint from sun up to sundown we'll do that it doesn't matter we're existing in a beautiful self-accepting kind of like warm cocoon and growth and that's where all these lessons and blessings are going to come for you group two so beautiful energy if you're new to my channel welcome don't forget to press like and subscribe and all my links are down below if you guys need a private read if you want to go to my etsy store um, my patron is down there you guys you should check out the goddess provisions box too it's off the hook there's this huge crystal book in it um it's the crystal it's the crystal box and it's off the hook and if you hit the link you'll see everything that comes up on that so again you guys look out for these lessons and blessings because they're going to be everywhere and i also feel like birds are going to be a huge part of your synergistic symbolism you're gonna have birds just sound louder closer and just more busy around you i get that too in times of turmoil i'll get crows and things and it settles my energy so beautiful beautiful energy so now we're on to number three health right away if you guys chose this i'm gonna have a little sip of my vitamin water because i'm like thirsty it gets to gavin and i forget <laughs> to hydrate and then my throat's like eh. okay so in terms of health do not be worried i hear your higher self as well as your someone saying don't worry the, even though there's so much detrimental kind of strange things happening in the world right now you are going to be fine there is something about your immune system when you feel good when you picture yourself in health that is it is literally healing right within that uh, you heal on a cellular level when you feel good when you see yourself feeling good you tell yourself you're fine you feel good right let me give you an example if you guys have never seen marissa pierce <coughs> this is my favorite example of all time of anything pretend close your eyes pretend you're holding a lemon in your hand with the peel still on it picture you biting into it with your teeth the peel and all and ripping that off and chewing it and chewing that lemon chewing it it's super sour oh my gosh okay although you're not really eating a lemon you're telling yourself you are so what's happening your mouth is salivating right you taste the sour guess what that's only because you're telling yourself you're doing that so you tell yourself I'm fine I feel good I have energy I'm vibrant I'm capable of doing this I'm gonna eat well today I'm gonna take care of myself I'm gonna listen to my body 
Absolutely. It's the same type of energy. Our brain believes what we tell it. It doesn't care what we tell it, but it'll follow suit if we tell us, I'm tired, I'm tired. You ever notice people that always say they're tired, look tired, and are tired? You ever notice those people that are like, I feel great, I'm excited to go to the gym, I'm going to go for a walk. I'm, they're excited about their art, whatever it is. They have energy because they're not busy standing around telling themselves they're tired, right? Tell yourself good things and you're going to be doing really well. Oh, I love this. So you're going to have a lot of this beautiful sun energy and second house energy sun energy fantastic you're going to feel revived you're going to feel vitality you're going to feel strong you're going to feel good you're going to feel ahead of things you're going to feel like you have fire power and drive and this is this is um very kind of like i feel like the sun symbol also holds some importance to a lot of you you're attracted to that the color yellow just the sun itself because we derive so much life from it right we would not be around without the sun and the sun is amazing they just feel like your vitality is going to come in and when they think about you you also provide them with that dynamic firepower energy now i love the second house because they're saying in terms of your assets the material world your possessions um, all of this, your values, credit scores, security, all of that, that everything is going to be fine. Don't worry with everything in a flux and people waiting for things. Everybody is in the same boat. You know, it really is, uh, you know, in terms of wide scale finances, everybody's are taking different turns and different things are happening, but things are going to be restored. Things are going to be replaced. In fact, you're going to come out ahead because you're going to come up with some kind of um, dynamic alternative source of income in the next couple months you're having this extra time to think and plot and re recognize and find out what your true gifts are and you're going to put them to work for you and they're going to be successful because the thing is you're going to give it this time you're all your focus and your attention you're not just going to start stop start stop oh i started a channel i only had five viewers i quit on the second day oh i went to write a book but by the third page i decided i don't like that you know you're not going to have any hyper criticism you're not going to be over um critical of your work you're just going to allow for the flow right again nobody goes from novice to expert i didn't start and have my videos just be like off the charts and have ten thousand viewers everything climbs steadily and we hone our craft and we design our day the way we want to have you know the best output and also i was listening to one of my favorite readers and something we have to be careful too is we also are not going in a sprint to the finish line we are not working from sun up to sun down we are going to work more effectively you know we do a little bit we rest we enjoy life we go for a walk we're not just here to work our fingers to the bone we're here to experience life in a really beautiful way to hear the birds to cook some great food to do all these things and then this is how we improve in all these with our assets and everything else because we're rested we feel good we have our act together we're not tired we don't feel like we're, we're suffering from burnout or anything we're feeling good we're feeling large and in charge right we do there's a delicate balance within that especially when we love what we do i mean i i have to say as a creative that once usually i finish this then i'm all excited about i'm um, making jewelry and then i'm all excited about painting and reading things because i love to research some stuff every single day when whether it has to do with um, science astrology medicine whatever it is i look forward to that just as much as anything i'm a sagittarius i love to know stuff i want stuff i want to know it <laughs> And I'm hearing another message too that you're going to be really fertile with great ideas and you're going to be focused and creative. So it's going to be easy for you. You're, you're going to see projects through to fruition. You're going to take time definitely to enjoy the sweetness of life and it's going to be enjoyable for you. You're going to work harmoniously. Your imagination is really going to be the key to your success right now. You're envisioning your future where you are joyfully participating and you feel incredibly lucky to be in this cycle of life and focusing also your attention and behaviors and their results in order to learn from the past. Like what did I used to do where I lost big gaps of time? How did I waste time, money or resources right now? You're going to have laughter and compassion for what used to be. And now you're going to be more focused. You know, you are going to stay with matters until they are settled and you are going to understand what's going on. You are observing yourself with loving kindness right at the door of success and there it goes it opens up for you big time oh i love that so much for you guys beautiful energy group three if you're new to my channel welcome don't forget to press like and subscribe and thank you guys for all your love and support and your beautiful comments i read them all i haven't had a chance to get down there and respond but i appreciate it more than i can say you guys are the best you know you're you're learning you're reaching for your best possible selves you're reaching for your lightest brightest vibration and that's that is the major start that is what matters that we care to change we ch we care to grow and we care to connect and you guys are doing that beautifully so again all my links are down below if you need a private read if you want to go to my etsy store come see me on instagram at sparkwist11 i'm holding a bunch of contests this week because i got some insane beads 
cards and I want to give away some pieces because you guys make me laugh every day with your memes and all your craziness and all you awesome soul sisters and soul brothers over there. I go to Instagram as soon as I wake up, I get so happy of all the funny posts with birds and cats and everybody. I just love it. And Christina Lawson, you're amazing. You, you crack me up every single day. So thank you guys. <laughs> love and light.